Hello all productive people out there, this is Kevin from CC Pipe here where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives and in this video I'll take a look at data merge in InDesign and more specifically I'll show you how to make business cards for multiple people using data from an Excel list. And what is data merge? Well, data merge allows you to import data from an Excel list which you can then bring into InDesign using tags. However, this will be a lot clearer when seeing it as opposed to me trying to explain it. And why would we use this? Well, the tool has its limitations, but for the right project, it can be a very handy tool when making relatively simple data-driven designs. And you simply don't need to paste in the data for all the different entries. And it also allows you to load in images as well. Okay, like I said, I think this is a lot easier to grasp when seeing it. So let's jump straight into making this business card template using data merge. And uh, this is what I want the final design to look like. There will be the name, title, email, phone number, and a portrait of the employee. Now, the idea here is of course to collect the data from Excel, but so far this is just static text. So let's jump over to Microsoft Excel to start us off. Here I have a basic Excel list and uh, what you need to know here is that your top row needs to be the column headings and uh, these names are also what will show up in InDesign as tags. So if you want to include images, you do the following. First, you add an apostrophe plus an at sign right here in uh, front of the column heading. And uh, this will tell InDesign that this, is, uh, this column is image links. And uh, then you need to type the file path in the cells and uh, either the relative path or the absolute path. I'd probably recommend uh, the relative path most of the time. And uh, you obviously also need to include the file name plus the file extension like so. And uh, lastly, we need to save this file and uh, we need to save it as a .csv file. So we go to save as and uh, then this one right here, CSV, which is uh, comma delimited. And uh, then we will be done here with Excel. Back to InDesign. First, we locate the data merge panel and uh, that you will find under window and uh, then utilities and uh, data merge. And as you can see, InDesign basically tells us what to do here. We need to load our file with uh, select data source under options right here and uh, find our one like so. And uh, now we get tags, which uh, correspond to our column headings from Excel. And uh, this one right here is our image tag, which you can see by the little image icon right here. Next, we just need to apply these in our business card document. And uh, that we can do either by just dragging it out to a frame. So uh, let's start with the image frame. I just drag it out to that one. And uh, now we can see that the frame is tagged by this uh, uh, dotted line around here. And uh, I also want to go to the options and uh, then find the content placement options right here. And here we have some settings. And the thing I was after here is the fitting options. And I want the images to be set to fill frames proportionally. And uh, that's it for the image. We can also just select the text and click on the tag. So let's start with the first frame here. We select the first row and uh, then click on the desired tag. And InDesign now adds these brackets showing that these are tagged. Now, all I need to do is apply the rest of them and uh, I'll probably just speed that up a bit. So there we go. Now all the tags are applied. Now, if we want to preview what this will look like, we can just check the preview box right here. And uh, then we can also browse through the multiple entries if you want and uh, it all seems to be working just fine. So how do we export this? Well, there are two options and uh, under the panel options, we can choose to make a merge document or just export directly to a PDF. And it doesn't really matter. So let's try the first one. And uh, we now get some more options and uh, get to decide which records, i.e. entries we want to include. Um, but more importantly is this single or multiple records. Uh, single is what we will be using here, and that means one entry per page. So that's really the only thing we need to do. Under the options, we find the same things that we already looked at under the panel options. And uh, since we aren't using multiple records, that tab is not relevant. So then we just press OK. And uh, now 
we should get a new document with all the entries laid out on a separate page, and uh, which would look something like this. And uh, this now is all static data in a normal document. Just a few words about the data merge with multiple records as well. That will basically create a grid of your entries on one or more pages. And I don't particularly like the multiple records because it's very limited with just the options to adjust margins and spacing for a grid. And uh, quite frankly, I didn't even get it to work properly when I tried it for this tutorial, even though I have gotten it to work before, kind of. And uh, there are other videos on that out there. So if you're interested, I'm sure you'll find those on YouTube. So that's all folks, see you in the next tutorial right here on Pipe. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, it helps me out a lot and also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again thank you and until next time have a good one.